What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walker right here on our Gym Leader Draven channel, and uh, okay, guess who's back into the theme? That's right, Ultra Psycho. That's right, I miss you buddy. I know, you're kind of angry at me because I put you into the uh, the PC thing and uh, got you all uh, locked up for maybe two episodes. But you know what? It is finally time to go to the next route right here because we got a, we got a lot of business to do. We got to beat everybody and get ourselves to sell it on City. So, for good old time's sake, might as well use Ultra Psycho on everybody, right? Uh, more so, we... we within reason if you guys get my drift. So here it is guys. First battle going up against Lass and she's coming out with a Clefairy. I'm gonna come out with Ultra Psycho because oh yeah. Destroy it with the confusion. 25 oh god dang it. Oh god dang it. I seriously thought it was gonna just paint right there. But it turns out that uh <laughs> it's level 22. Yeah it's not gonna be that easy. Okay, another Clefairy. Might as well just use a... Yeah, we, 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 we should be using uh, attacks that actually work on these people, not just waste attacks. So, I got a little uh, ahead of myself. So, a double kick. That's right, beating this fairy to hell with a double kick. Look at that. Goodbye. Alrighty, okay, alright, okay, alright. Okay, so I'm liking this. I'm loving this. Okay, so I was mean to your Clefairy because it stood in my way, and here we have another gambler. I'm a rambling gambling dude! Unfortunately, it won't say that when, uh, when, uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red come. Yeah. Gotta love that. And here he comes out with his Brawlith. I'm coming out with Ultra Psycho. And guess what happens? Dig Attack. Mm hmm. Kinda sounds like Giga Drake. Look at that. Oh, come on! You should've just. Uh, luckily that's not a dark type move right now, but I do realize that Ultra Cycle's physical defense is not that good. Not that great. And, uh, mm hmm yeah, taking you out piece by freaking piece. Coming out with the Volpix. You will not defeat me like that. Okay, so, coming out with that, uh, Ember will not... Oh, wow, two moves in one, more, in one turn. How does that work? And, uh... I'm just going to keep on beating you with a dig because I guess it will work. Look at that. Dig attack. Feels good to have you back, buddy. Feels good to have you back. Mm -hmm. He's like, missed by the big, or missed the big score. Alright, got to get out of the way right here because I got to move on. Alright, I'm assuming this guy has like some crazy Pokemon. So let's go with Hydro. I'm going to use every single one of my cool Pokemon right here. Just to be all of you guys. Yeah, let's go. Super nerd wants to fight. Coming out with this Grimer. Okay, show, so, so, so. I should have stuck with a uh, Ultra Saga right there. Eh, who cares? I got Thunderbolt. You know, backing me up on this one right here. And, uh, okay, that disable attack will mess me up a little. But you know what? Bubble Beam. I got another move. It will beat you. Oh, yeah. And uh, this guy's coming out with a muck, so. What a good time to use Ultra Psycho. Alrighty, okay, okay. So, there's that confusion attack. Oh, yeah. And then there's that pound attack that you don't want. But, dig attack. For another win, right? Right. Alrighty, okay. Right. Look at that. And Ultra Psycho finally grows to level 23 after quite some time. And you know what? We're going to stay. We're going to stay with this uh, Ultra Psycho with business and continue on with beating this guy single handedly. Alright. Look at that. Okay, so we're winning. And this is like, it's not logical. It is logical. Okay. Um, I got to heal Ultra Psycho because. Physical defense, not that great. Alright. And, uh... Alright, let's stay with Hydra. I would like to stay with Hydra. So, here we have this long group that we always fight. And it's cool, it's fun, but so are Pokemon. Okay. 
super nerd wants to fight. Coming out with his coughing. Huh. Probably means that I should have just stuck with that ultra at the beginning. Good guy. So I did overtrain for the first two, uh, or the, the second and the third batch, but it would seem to me that these Pokemon trainers are hanging with me. I, I'm expecting big victories, like blow them out, but <laughs> yeah, that, that ain't the case right here. This guy is just like sticking with me, so gotta be training constantly, because when they're training, I'm training, and when I'm training, they're training. So here we go. She's coming out with her Nidorans because she loves them all. Me, I'm just gonna beat you with a Pikachu and embarrass you because I can because it's awesome. So here it is, Nidoran female, Pikachu, Nidoran female, Pikachu, Nidoran female, right there. All right, okay, alrighty. And uh, Nidorina is coming out, so let's just continue on with the onslaught. Oh yeah, I'm loving his onslaught. But there's that scratch tech. And, uh, okay, let's go with body step right here. Oh, yeah, took you out. One hit. Mm hmm. And, uh, Sparky, gross to level 29. Alrighty, okay. She's like, why, why, why? Because your Pokemon kind of suck. And this chick likes her meow. Okay. Alrighty. We can do this. If we can beat this in record time, because I, you know, I normally take about 30 minutes to get out of here. No joke, and that's probably because I keep on using the wrong Pokemon for each situation. Or my Pokemon are terribly underleveled or something. And there's that payday attack that I don't like. Okay, so coins are scattered everywhere, but here we go with that body slam. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and he's coming out with Mia, or she's coming out with Mia, so let's go with Thrash right here. Survive with a double kick. Oh yes. Clearly you're losing. That's right. Look at that. And then coming out with another meow. So let's take it down with this. A double, a double kick. Oh yeah. Oh come on. Should have beat him in the first try, but you know I have high expectations. So many high expectations. Oh yeah. Beat you guys. All right. And we got one more person right here. You must look silly, or we must look silly stand, stand like this. Hmm. Kinda, just a little, but you know, I'm not blaming you for anything right now. So here we go with another last, and uh, she's probably, she's probably that, that, that chick that likes to collect a lot of uh, birds, because you're a bird. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that feels good. And uh, Ratatata. Let's go with uh, Godzilla because he needs some loving. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Huh. Ember Attack should have beaten him like that. But no. Why? Why? Why did you not faint? Why you no know faint? And, uh, okay, need a ramp female. So, Ultra Psycho. I'm gonna counter you move for move, everything. Confusion attack. Let's do this. And the confusion attack uh, actually works. Works well. And uh, there's that Meowth. Okay, so going back to Thrasher. So I'm going back and forth right here with some of these strong ass Pokemon. And uh, again, trying to make it in record time right here. I could use Thrash. You know, his name is literally Thrash. But eh, I have a feeling it might screw me over. Well, just psycho for another victory, right? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Confusion attack. Cannot wait to learn the psychic attack because that would be awesome. Much more powerful, and look at that. Level 24. Awesome. And, uh, look what you did! Yeah, I did something pretty horrible. I beat you. Not really. Not that horrible. And, uh, okay, so we're moving on right here, and I think... No. Okay, so we got... We have two more trainers right here, and uh, I'm only... Yeah, I'm only assuming this guy's the guy with the water-type Pokemon. So here he is. Alright! 
let's roll the dice. Yeah, just remember these guys. It, it really took like the fun out of the games when they took they changed gambler to gamer. I mean, come on, dude. Come on. Put a little sin in your life. Come on. Okay, so there we go. Coming out with another polywag, so I might as well just keep on thunderbolting away. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Coming out with a polywhirl, okay. More experience boys right here, so Thunderbolt for the win. And as you can see, we win again. Oh, look at that. Gambler's not too happy. He's like, drag, came up short. All right, okay, so that was one. I know that there's another trainer right here, so I gotta... Let's go ahead. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to risk it because I know something's gonna happen right where it's gonna screw me over if I use Dubasaur. There's the other trainer. You could skip him, but I'm not gonna skip him. Now I do know that there is a glitch uh, for Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. It has something to do with Professor Oak being supposedly being the last trainer. Uh, as you probably already saw, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm not going to do the. Uh, the, the glitch because well I've already watched it on you on YouTube but I'm I don't think it's for me it's not important for this one but if you guys want to see it then uh, you know comment down below and I will try and uh, reload this or try and do that glitch on another game that way you guys can see what uh, what kind of glitch I'm talking about the Professor Oak final boss glitch and uh, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of things that go into it, like Pokemon that you choose, uh, Pokemon that you choose, uh, you know, a whole variety. I'm just rambling right here, and look at that, look at that, hey, look at that, level 25. And he's trying to learn Dragon Range, okay, okay, so it's a good move right here. And uh, I'm going to take away Bide, because, uh, you know, it served, it served its purpose. I'm ready. Alrighty, okay. So, Dubasaur. Let's finish these guys off with just a good Dubasaur. Dubasaur! You will destroy everybody with a cut attack. But you gotta hurry up fast because uh, Voltorb is faster than you. Vine Whip. It's basically a cut technique. And vice versa. And that is not good. So, there we go. Oh, come on! You should have just fainted. You a hole Pokemon. Uh, come on. Finished you off. Just like that. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And it's coming out with a Magnemite. So I'm just going to continue on right here. Um, I'm going to try this out. Oh, yeah. It absolutely works. So that's one. And remember, we got screeched on, so... Yeah, we will lose a lot of HP right here. But I'm doing a little combination right here where... I'm triple hitting this guy right here. That's one. That's two. Oh yeah. This is gonna be easy for me. And there's three. Technically that's one. Take a hit. There's two. And there's three. So technically I'm winning. I'm triple hitting this guy. Whether he likes it or not. Oh yeah. This next one's gonna be it. Just don't fate Dubasaur. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this one right here. Yeah. Vine Whip. Okay. How about that? And Dubasaur grows a level 25. Not bad at all. We're winning here. <laughs> Good meltdown right there. So, made it in record time. Look at that. Usually, it takes about 20, 20 good minutes. 30, 30 20, 30, oh, you, you guys know what I mean. So, this chick right here is saying, the department store at Celadon has a great selection. Hmm, how great of a selection are we talking about here? Now, I'm just going to keep on walking right here. Now, you guys can't see it, but I'm actually pressing the A button. I actually have a controller. And I'm trying to find hidden items right here. I don't know where to find them. I'm just walking around like an idiot. Um, trying to find some kind of hidden items. I don't remember what kind of hidden items. Are. I think it were like vitamins. Maybe there was a rare candy around here. But, as you can see, nope, didn't find one. Talk to this gentleman. He's like, I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. So there's another one. Rats. 
underwear path. Okay. So, believe it or not, guys, we finally made it to Sel Celadon City, and, uh, this is where, like, the brunt of our adventure takes place. So, t stay tuned, guys. In the next adventure, it's gonna get interesting. See you guys.